In this video, what I'm going to do is find the inverse function of y equals shine of x. Now, we know that this is y equals r shine of x, uh, but we can actually write that in another form, just as shine x can be written in terms of uh, e to the x, e to the minus x, we can write uh, y equals r shine x as a logarithm. Now, the way to do that is to use our knowledge of finding an inverse function. So, the first thing that we would do is we would swap the x's and y's. Okay, what that does is it reflects the graph in the line y equals x. So, we know shine of y would be e to the y take away e to the minus y over 2. So x is equal to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply through by 2. So 2x is equal to e to the y take away e to the minus y. Now what I want to do here, my target is to be able to write this as y equals. So I'm going to multiply through now by e to the y to get rid of this term here. So we'll have 2x e to the y is equal to e to the 2y take away 1. And I'm going to rearrange this to get 0 on the left-hand side. So e to the 2y take away 2x e to the y take away 1. Now here we have a hidden quadratic. Now to get y equals here, you could use um, the quadratic formula. I'm going to complete the square on this because essentially that's what you're doing with uh, using the quadratic formula anyway. So 0 equals, and I would have e to the y take away half this coefficient, so take away x squared, take away the extra x squared that I get from that, and I've still got the take away 1 on the right-hand side. OK, so I am going to... Uh, move everything around now so um, I'm going to add the x squared and the 1 to both sides and I'm going to square root both sides okay so I've added x squared and 1 to the left hand side I've just reorganized it and square rooted both sides and that brings about this plus minus now the thing about that plus minus is, if I add x to both sides, we get this. Now, e to the y is always positive, and the square root of x squared plus 1 will always be larger than x. So x take away the square root of x squared plus 1 will always be negative. So we can't have something that's always positive being negative. And so we don't have that take away. We can remove it. And so actually we have this. So we can now log both sides and say that y is equal to the natural log of x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. So r shine of x is this. And here we have a logarithmic form for the inverse shine x function.